And we are told there will be an ethics investigation in the U.S. House. Will it be by the end of the year in Congressman Conyers' case? Monica Conyers, the wife, tells us here at their house on the west side of Detroit that everybody needs to let that process happen. We keep not allowing the process to work, and you all just want to kill this man who's dedicated 53 years of his life to community service. Conyers' former deputy chief of staff, Deanna Maher, this week, the latest to accuse Conyers of sexual harassment 20 years ago, including this. Put his hand up my dress, and I'm on stage. And what do you do in front of all of these people? Monica Conyers questions the validity of the accuser with this. So if I had come up to you and then all of us right now, and I did like this to Charlie, and I just went up your dress like this. Oh, come on now, every all of us standing right here. We'd ask to speak with Charlie. Nobody would see that. Nobody. At 88 years old, John Conyers is the longest serving member of the U.S. House. He flew home from Washington, D.C. last night, but has remained out of public view and is not responding to calls for his resignation. He's doing good. He's, he's just, you know, he's just around with his family right now. That's all. Yeah. But we'll be back. He's going to do some things. He's going to go back to Washington? I'm sure he will at some point. Now, coming up at 11, only on 7 Action News, have you been harassed right here in Metro Detroit in your job? And your job is not high profile. Your boss is not high profile. But you're thinking of coming forward. There are a lot of ramifications, a lot of pros and cons. Watch my story at 11 o'clock as you make that big decision. Back to you. Jim, thank you for that live report. Another